Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you all those little chores and, and projects around the house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Today we've got a piece of drywall up here, and what I'm going to teach you today is how to actually mud the screws to hold the drywall to the wall. So, I've got this board, it's got, it's got screws all the way around it, but we're going to concentrate on the ones that go right down the center. So what we're going to do is, is after these drywall screws are put in, so let's say someone else hung it for you and you want to do all the mudding, which is the drywall compound. What you want to do is take your knife, go over it like this, and see if there's anything sticking out any kind of marks that would be a problem for your drywall mud to go on to. The second thing is you got your pan, it can be plastic or metal, and you've got your mud, which I use a premix. Now some guys like to use the stuff that comes in a bag and you mix it up yourself. Um, if you're a fast um, if you're a fast mutter, then that's perfect for them because it goes on and dries fast. It doesn't shrink very much. Shrinking means after the first coat goes on, it kind of recedes into the hole. Then you got to put a second coat on and a third coat on. But with the stuff that comes in the bag that you mix up yourself, it shrinks less. It does, it's, it's, it's not a non-shrink. It shrinks less. You still got to put on extra coats. I like the pre-mixed stuff, it comes in a bucket, it's easy to transport around, and it's not that, that messy. So what we're going to do is, we've got, we've got our holes here, got the screws in the, in, the, in, the, in the drywall. I put a little bit of mud, because just for this demonstration, otherwise I would fill up the pan just for this demonstration, I have just a little bit of mud on here. I'm going to mix it up just a little bit, just like this. Mix it up just a hair. Get some bubbles out of it. Put some on my knife. And then I'm going to go over to the screw and I'm going to gob it into the hole like that. And almost with a 90 degree angle, nice firm, wipe it off. So all we have is just the hole that's filled with mud. Very little around the edge, which means very little sanding. The only thing you really want to sand is where the mud is in, and that is in the screw hole. Let's go down to the next one. Let's try it again. A little bit of mud on the knife. Force it into the hole, 90 degree angle-ish. Wipe it off. Very little residual around. The hole is filled. One more time. In the hole, off it comes. Got a couple more down here. In the hole, off it comes. In the hole, off it comes. See? Nice and easy. So as it's drying, you're going to see that it turns kind of white around here. Then you'll know that it's dry. You'll see the contrast between the white where it's drying and the gray in the hole itself, indicating that it's still wet. After it's dried, after it's dry, you're going to see that, that in the hole, it will have receded, the, the drywall compound will have receded into the hole itself ever so slightly. And that's where our second coat comes in. And then after about an hour, maybe two hours, depending on the humidity in the room, come back and hit those holes again. It's a completely different story when it comes to when you're, when you're joining two pieces of drywall together and you're putting on drywall tape. It takes longer to dry because you have more mud. But in the smaller stuff, it takes just maybe an hour or so for it to dry and you can go back and you can work on it again. Please subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. And I'm trying to teach you this kind of stuff so you can use it all on your own so you don't have to call anybody and you can be the hero. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next video.